Hello, how are you? Happy Sunday. I hope you're taking a day of rest. Sorry, I heard a big bang. Don't know where it came from. I hope you're taking a day of rest and relaxation and allowing yourself a moment. I want to talk a little bit about triggers and lies. Um, when you're in recovery, and not just from addiction, but in all recovery, trauma, addiction, alcoholism, um, moving forward for your own better self. Okay. When you're in recovery from past habits, past inflictions, um, afflictions, past afflictions, um, y you know, when you're going forward, once in a while, you're going to hit a little wall. And I just, I really felt I should share this today because once in a while, you're going to hit that wall and, and you know, where you're going to tell yourself the lies. You're not good enough. You're not worthy enough. You're not okay. There's something wrong with you. Whatever the lie is that you tell yourself. Okay. And once you start telling yourself these lies, and if you let them set in, you're going to start your triggers. And your triggers are whatever it is you do to work yourself up to becoming your old in your own place, your old place. Like, okay, so I like, told myself a little bit of a lie that I, you know, I don't fit in. Okay, so then the next thing I'm thinking about is I gotta go, I gotta go, I can't be here, I gotta go because I don't fit in, and and. I recognize these, this behavior and, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that I'm able to recognize these behaviors right away and stop it and make eye contact with myself, regardless of a mirror, a window, any reflection, pick up your phone, look at the black screen, make that eye contact with yourself and tell yourself that they're lies and that it's bullshit and don't believe these lies. And you can tell yourself to F off if you have to over there. Because it's bullshit and lies. And you will not believe it. You're better than that. You worked really hard to get to where you are. Okay. Even if it's just for today. Okay. And so, of course, my lie triggered me to, to, to gypsy out. Right? Run. Go. You got to go. Earlier in my recovery, I would have I would have gypsied out. Got to go. Got to go. But I think I would have found a pub or a bar or like-minded people and then worked my excuse into to use at that point okay like in the beginning of my recovery right I I'm able to recognize these things now and I just want to encourage you that recovery is ongoing the triggers and the lies are a little ongoing. Um, it gets easier and it gets better and they get less frequent as you keep going forward. But they're there. Okay. The lies are there and the trigger is there. And <clears throat> if you don't continue to emit the gunk, right? And the gunk at this point, okay, you've purged, hopefully, purged all your ick, get rid of your dark secret have forgiven yourself and allowed yourself to move forward and accepted yourself for who you are. I'm hoping at this point. So now you're cruising along, you're feeling great. You're feeling you're on top of the world. And I know that feeling because you're accomplishing this for your own self. You're accomplishing this inner win for you and your, your inner child and just blossoming and seeing that you are an amazing person exactly how you are and that you're not divine defined by your addiction or your trauma or you know that none of that has to do with who you are as a person and and rediscovering yourself and finding out that you're amazing okay I'm hoping that that's where you are in your journey and and when you hit the little walls where the lies come in and you tell yourself these little lies 
I hope that you're able to recognize, you know, and I mean, it doesn't happen like, oh, that's a lie. I recognize you go away. No, no, no. You're going to tell yourself a couple of little things and then, you know, say half an hour later, or I don't know timelines. Okay. But a little bit later, you're like, wait a minute here. What the F is going on? Okay. The, those are lies. So find your reflection look yourself in the eye and tell yourself they're lies it's bullshit it's not real it's not right because if you don't corner that bullshit right away it's going to give you triggers and then your triggers are what's going to put you back out there sideways so don't listen to the lies don't accept the lies because that's what they are lies Embrace yourself. Forgive yourself for accepting and listening to that lie. It, it's, it's a process. It's a journey. It's an everyday thing to, to walk through and to go through and to be true to you and to love your own self. It, it's a daily struggle. It's a daily battle. And as you get further into your recovery, okay, so like with me, I'm, you know, 27 years into my recovery, um, when I hear the lies, okay, it, it's not two or three days of bullshit beating up. Okay. It might be an hour. It might be, you know, minutes. It depends. But as you grow and get to know who you are and believe in yourself and believe in the inner child and really allow yourself the self love and the self care and the self forgiveness, you might believe that lie for a nanosecond and then you're just like wait 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 where is this coming from okay and then you just sort of breathe in and accept yourself for who you are because you're beautiful and you're wonderful and you're amazing just how you are you know and and you have to believe this when you tell yourself this i mean i know I'm old. I know I have wrinkles. I know my body isn't like a size four no more. I'm aware of these things. You guys, I know my teeth are crooked. It's okay. It's all okay because I'm still beautiful inside and out because it's how I was made. It's how I was created. It's how I am supposed to be. It's who I am supposed to be. So I'm okay with the fact that I don't look like, I don't know, I don't watch TV and, and no offense to you actors and actresses, but I don't really know your names. You know, I have this one favorite actor. He's, he's hilarious. He's absolutely hilarious. And, and I couldn't tell you the name of the movie, but there's this one scene. I think the rock might be in it. it okay. So I know who he is, but, um, only because he's the rock, right? I don't know your real name. I'm so sorry. Wayne? Dwayne? Dwayne? Dwayne Johnson. Ha! I do know your name. Anyway, okay, so this movie. They're laying on a ground. It had to do with this other woman from a tribe in, a, in an idol or something. And she fed them this fruit. And they're paralyzed on the ground. And he's like, nee, 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 fucking monkey. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you know what movie I'm talking about. I don't know what movie I'm talking about, but I remember that scene and it cracked me right up. And I thought, oh my gosh, you were just one of the funniest actors, the funniest actors, just natural, improv, wonderful, funny. Okay. I don't, I'm so sorry. I don't know your name, but I know your face and you're very handsome. Does any of that have anything to do with that? Um, I'm any less of a person because I don't know movie names because I don't know actors and actresses names because um, when I reference to an actor or an actress that I like a reference to a scene that they might have done in some kind of show movie and or something like that doesn't make me any less of a person that doesn't make me any uglier or any stupider or any 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 anything less than at all okay it just kind of means that my interests aren't really there Okay, my interests don't lie in that. I guess what I'm seeing is y'all famous people. I let you have your private lives. If you're not on the big screen and I'm not watching you and going, oh my gosh, you're hilarious. Yeah. Okay. Like the one that played Amy in 
Pitch Perfect. She's amazing. She cracks me up. She's fucking funny. Okay. I'm sorry, darling. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. You are. I don't, I don't know your name. And it's okay. It's no respect, lack of respect towards you. It's no lack of respect towards my own self. It's just not an interest that I hold. Okay. And that's okay. Accept yourself for who you are, please. And, and allow yourself to be who you are. And when the lies come in and they send off the triggers, you know, look yourself in the eye and tell yourself, fuck off is over there. I refuse to believe you. That's not the truth. Okay, the truth is, today I'm sober. The truth is, today I didn't use. The truth is, is I was kind to those who I met. The truth is, okay, and you have to tell yourselves the truth. Tell yourself the truth. Be honest with yourself, really, okay? Don't believe the, tr the lies and don't follow the triggers, you know, um, because they're going to happen. It's a part of your recovery. It's a part, I think it's a part of everybody's everyday life, even those who don't struggle with, with, um, I don't know. They don't struggle with addiction or, or trauma or, you know, they're just the people that we think go through life, like, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy and all beds and roses. Okay. It's not all beds and roses for them. They struggle with the same crap we do. They struggle with, I don't have enough. I'm not enough. They struggle with, you know, um, so-and-so's prettier. They, everybody struggles with it. So, don't give up. Don't give up. Okay? Don't give up. Because you're beautiful. You're amazing. And you're wonderful. Exactly how you are. Okay? You are not defined because of your mistakes from the past. And that's what they were. Mistakes. You know, again, the analogy of a master failed 10,000 times before he became the master. Fail first attempt in learning. Okay. Give yourself a breath, give yourself a moment and be okay with, Oh shit, that wasn't a good thought or, Oh, that wasn't a kind thing to do. Or, I mean, you guys, I post my crap up here. I tell you when I'm an ass, I tell you when, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm only human and I still make mistakes, but I stayed sober. Okay. And, and I, I just, I guess I'm just trying to really admit, uh, admit that out to you that, um, the lies are just that they're lies. Don't believe them because then they'll trigger you with your triggers. And then, you know, now you're back to square one. So look yourself in the mirror tell yourself they're lies. Give yourself that hug. Allow yourself to just be. If you need to feel sad about the lies you're telling yourself, feel sad, but then get rid of it because it's bullshit and you know it. Like, I mean, when you're looking yourself in the eye and you're telling yourself that's not true, I don't believe these lies. And if you're crying while you're doing it, that's okay. Feel your feelings. Don't believe the lies. Okay. So have yourself a fabulous rest of the day. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. May your day be graceful and loving. May you have kindness and self-forgiveness. May you have self-love and self-care. And may all this emit out of you towards others. Be kind to your own self. Then it's easy to be kind to everybody else. Okay. Take care for now and talk to you soon.